Hello everyone. Do you want a reading? Sure you do. This is the prologue of the book, or part of it, and the scene with a hunter. The hunter waited patiently in the silence of the night, maybe waiting as long as two hours. But this was normal practice for this type of work. 99% waiting and 1% squeezing the trigger. The light of the moon, silence and assault were his friends today. A rustling movement in the forest signalled that his 1% time had come. He slowly edged into position and adjusted his aim at the block of salt again. Ready. Come on now, he whispered to himself, breathing out ever so slowly, and held his breath to steady his aim. Then there was silence again. Where are you? All of a sudden, there was a crash in the undergrowth directly below him, and the startled hunter looked down to see what was causing the commotion. A deer had broken out of the trees, surprisingly making a lot of noise, as they are normally careful animals, and banged straight into the wooden legs of the hunting perch. The deer stopped, looked straight up at the mystified hunter, nodded in his direction, turned around and ran back into the woods. It was as though the deer wanted to thank him for something. Playing games with me, are you? The hunter whispered to himself. Well, we'll see who'll win he said, stroking his rifle and smacking his lips. He looked into his sights again and took aim at the block of salt. Blast, where is this damn block? The hunter moved his rifle left, right, up and down, frantically attempting to aim at the block of salt. But there was no block. It was gone. He moved his head away from the rifle, looked at the clearing in disbelief and then scratched his head. He climbed down from his perch and walked quickly towards the post to find out what had happened, this time not taking too much time to be quiet. No point being secretive now, he thought. To his sheer amazement, the block was not there. Not on the post, nor was it on the floor. How very strange, he thought. Just disappeared into thin air. OK, I hope you enjoyed that and look forward to another reading in two weeks' time. Bye.